Start by returning utility power to the UPS. You can do this by turning on the Q1 breaker on your maintenance bypass panel. The display will come on and display system information. After approximately 10 seconds, it will display stop charge DC capacitors colon yes. Press the C button on the display to change this to start charge DC capacitors yes. Hit the pound key to lock in that change. After about one minute, the screen will display insert fuse or close MCCB. At this point, open the front door of the UPS or battery cabinet, and depending on what you have, turn on the battery breakers or close the battery fuses. The display will show system off. Now you can press the green on button and close the front door of the UPS. The screen will now display UPS operation mode and load power percentage. To take the load off of maintenance bypass, press the pound button on the display. You need to first command the UPS into static bypass. The UPS will display bypass operation colon no. Press the C button on the display to change the option to Bypass Operation colon Yes. Press the pound button to save the changes. On your maintenance bypass panel, you will now notice that the H2 LED above the Q2 breaker is illuminated. This indicates that it is safe to operate the Q2 breaker without risking your load. Turn the Q2 breaker to the on position. With Q2 on, you'll notice that the H3 LED above the Q3 breaker will now also light. The H2 LED will also still be lit, indicating at this point it is still safe to operate both of these switches. Next, turn the Q3 breaker to the off position. The H2 LED will now go out as it is no longer safe to operate the Q2 breaker without risking your load. Back on the display of the UPS, press the pound button. You will see Change Bypass Operation Yes by pressing the C button. The screen will now change to Bypass Operation colon No. Press the pound button on the display to lock in this change. Your UPS is now out of Bypass Operation.